What's up guys? We're going to talk about a Samsung washer that I just got in really odd problem. I have seen similar problems come up before and I think what's going on here is the couple I got this from was an older couple and sometimes they make their own soap, that kind of a thing, or they're just using the wrong type of soap. Don't know that they're not supposed to, I can see he used liquid for some of it because it's all over the place, but also there's a powder substance that was on the edges of some of this. And obviously it's been washed off because the washer was on, but it would not drain was what they told me. They bought a washer from me and this was their trade-in that they got free delivery for. And he said he undid that and it would not drain. It still had water in it and I got it back to my shop and it did. It still had water in it. And when I pulled the plug to usually drain it, it was not draining the water. So I knew something's going on. He had just pulled the filter off and he said it was clean, doesn't know what's going on. So I leaned it over and I'll go to cut to that video. I did it outside because I didn't want to go over my shop. And there's this white substance all over it. And it's like, it's like when you reach underneath there and you just feel it and it's like a bag of sand. And you, you feel it and it feels like a bag of sand when you're touching it. That's what it felt like and definitely felt weird but sometimes there's like a ball that sits on top of some front load washers on the very top of this that goes underneath to kind of i guess it floats in case something makes it through so it doesn't go into the pump and it kind of holds it back this one did not have that and i originally thought oh i could feel there's like the the ball sitting right there but there's something underneath the ball that's like a bag of sand bag of sand and it wasn't, it was just packed full of this stuff. And when it hit the ribs, it just started building up and building up and then eventually completely clogged up and then just filled up to here. And I'm sure it was slow and steady draining out over time. And I'm sure it was also getting in the filter. That's probably why he had that cover off and he lost the cover, which I can get another one of those, but it looks like the only problem is gonna be the, it's still running. So it looks like it's just gonna be that that was completely stopped up and they were probably using the wrong detergent or he worked somewhere where there was a heck of a lot of sand i kind of got my doubts on that one i'm kind of thinking they're using the wrong detergent pocket sand <laughs> the filter so if you've already done the filter and you're still having issues and you're noticing that water is still sitting in your washer after you pull the filter out and it's draining slowly step two get to this guy and i'll show you really quick what you can do to get to that guy it's pretty easy you can lean it over on its side. Now on this Samson, on the back side, which you're not gonna be able to see it from here, but right about there is where the computer board is. You don't wanna lean it on its back because if you pull this piece off and a little bit of water gets out, you don't wanna spill it on the computer board. But on this one, there is nothing really on this side. And there's a hole in the bottom that you can just lean it and access the bottom immediately, quickly, easily. So that's the easiest way to get to that pipe. It's literally, you could undo it. It's got a one screw right here. It's a little Phillips head guy. So you just loosen that guy up. And those little pinchers, just pinch that guy, pinch that guy, and you can take it off, rinse it back out. Make sure there's no other lines. It's just full of it. But check that guy out first before I know, probably if you got into this video and you've checked that filter, you're probably right on the edge of throwing this sucker to the road. Don't do that first. First, check this guy, make sure it's not just stopped up with something. I've seen other things too. I've seen the little holes that you can see in the back. Something will get through these little holes and it will push like a, and like these are actually fairly small holes, but it'll push like a piece of a sock or something like that through it. And the sock will get hung up in here and then they'll pull in here and eventually completely stop it up just before the filter and do a very similar problem. Or the sock will just sit there and it'll build up with other materials until it finally can't breathe. I've seen these full of coins before. There's people that don't empty out their pockets, it'll just be packed full of coins. So definitely first step before you take it to the road, get to that part and just you can just squeeze it, see if it feels like it's full of something, but mainly just pop it off. It's really easy to pop off there. Uh, some front loaders, this goes for all front loaders, by the way, not just the Samson type, but some front loaders will have different access points to be able to get to that, and you won't be able to just lean it over to one side or the other to get to that point. And when you lean it, there's springs and stuff involved here. Be very gentle. Try not to lean it all the way over. Just gently lean it 
and reach out of there and see if you can uh, feel what the problem is and obviously have the machine unplugged. But some machines will have a line going across here and here, and you'll see there's two points that you can push with a putty knife and it'll release the panel on the front. And you, again, it's like another access point and you can easily get to uh, that part from there. It just depends on the type of machine and the year. All right, guys, I hope this helps someone because uh, this is definitely one of those problems that's rare. This may not be your problem, but if it is your problem, it's kind of weird and kind of hard to figure out. And I hope this helps someone out there. Please like, please subscribe. Any questions, put them down in the comments below. Bag of sand.